Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the hallmarks of preteen development. You know, when you've got a, a tween that you're teaching in your Sunday school class, there's some important things that you need to remember about um, how they're growing and how they're developing, and that'll help in the way that you teach them. So the first thing that I want you to remember is that um, preteens sort of bounce between, con uh, between concrete and abstract thinking. Um, so what you'll want to do when you present a concept to them is actually present something that's fairly familiar to them maybe, but present it in maybe a new or unique situation. So for instance, let's say that you're talking about um, sharing your faith. That's probably a concept that they're sort of familiar with, but you may speak with them about, um, let's talk about how you would share your faith at school or let's talk about how you would share your faith in the neighborhood. And that'll give them a chance to kind of think in both abstract and concrete ways about um, concepts that they're sort of familiar with. The next thing that I'd like to remind you of is that um, teens, preteens are really not very comfortable in their own skin. They're not at home in their own bodies. They're growing and changing at a really rapid rate. And so um, one thing that I'd recommend is that you don't play a lot of games that involve competition. Um, competitive games tend to point out the differences between kids, and if they're not feeling great about themselves to begin with, having competitive games can kind of exacerbate those feelings. So think about games that promote teamwork instead of competition. The next thing about preteens is that they really love to have fun. They enjoy um, socializing and so plan lots of activities and lots of games where kids can um, have fun together. Preteens really want to be treated like young adults, but they're not quite ready for that yet. So one thing to remember is that you're going to allow preteens time to express their own opinions, um, give them chances to start forming those ideas on their own, but be there as an adult to kind of guide the, um, the situation, to guide the conversation, maybe to interject at certain times that seem critical um, in the conversation, and also be there to protect the kids um, from other kids who may be saying things that are a little negative or might be putting them down. So you really want them to have a chance to express themselves, but you also need to be there as a guide. Um, Preteens can be pretty socially inept sometimes, um, so you want to model really good behavior for them. Uh, you want to model upbuilding behavior to correct when um, kids when they're putting others down. Um, you know, they can be a little bit awkward, and so you sometimes need to step in and just um, be a great model for them about how to be kind and how to speak words of encouragement. And then finally, Preteens need to be loved unconditionally and forgiven frequently. And you know, can't we say that about all of us? So just keep that in mind. They may uh, stretch your patience a little bit, but just like us, we need that unconditional love. Thank goodness we have it from our Heavenly Father, and He's given us the ability to extend ourselves in that way too. So let's do that. And that's your latest tip for raising kids in Christ.